Welcome back to our Sekiro 100% walkthrough. In the previous episode, we've made our way into the Divine Realm, and on this episode, we're going to be continuing on through the Divine Realm. My name is Azavar or Azza. Now let's get into the video. Okay, so first of all, watch out for this bad boy just here. We're also going to acquire some skills from the Shinobi skill tree, which is Shadow Rush. Or six skill points. Don't worry if you can't grab a Shadow Rush just yet. We don't need it straight away. Uh, we'll just use that a little bit later on in the playthrough. Uh, what we shall do here is I'm going to use a green sugar, which may make things slightly easier here. Uh, a lot of this area is basically just slicing, dicing, looting, shooting. The only reason that I used the green sugar there was because there are some enemies just up there. And sometimes the green sugar can kind of help uh, stop them from shooting loads of stuff at us. So it just helps that kind of stuff. So that's why we use the green sugar there. Uh, other than that, we're just going to sort of run around and uh, destroy everything. Uh, pick up a bunch of items and all that sort of stuff. So let's uh, go for that. Blood, blood smoke. Not sure whether it's going to... Yep, that's fine. Green sugar did its job, which is always good. Sabi Maru there as well. Got an enemy on the far building there. There we go. Uh, so that is that. We've got a, uh, there's a Gokan's sugar up, up the top of that building just there, so let's go up there. We've also got some bits and bobs to grab down in the water below us. Bit of cheeky blood smoke. Also got the uh, shuriken here because there's a bunch of doggos so the shuriken is very very good against these dogs. We'll have the shuriken at the ready. Give them the old one two. There we go. So that is that. Got some balloons there. Nothing too crazy. I think there's some more items just tucked away in this corner. Double doggo. There, some eel liver. And we may be able to get a stealth kill here. Could use blood smoke there if you had enough um uh, spirit emblems. That is fine for now. I'm gonna use Tanto here to get some more spirit emblems. Pop the healing gourd. Give them the old one too. And we can make our way up and get that go cans sugar, which is here. There we go. So that is that. Then we can push forward. We want to now make our way up here. And to the right. 
and we can grab ourselves an idol to rest at just over here so on this bit you want to kind of jump against the wall and then jump off the wall and then aim up to grapple on that branch like so and then just work your way through this tunnel this is the only way over to this uh, section just here some confetti there we've got an npc just there you can also grab some extra spirit emblems just there there's the npc here's the idol so you can grab the idol and pop a cheeky rest to restore all your stuff we can talk to the idol we are gonna grab this lapis lazuli these are quite rare you don't really get many of these per playthrough so you definitely want to be grabbing these bad boys uh we can afford one at the moment we'll come back for the other one a little bit later uh, we'll also press talk on this npc here that's that for now and we can push on forward just kind of backtracking a little bit here back up here and back through the tunnel kind of going to go to the opposite direction now just over this way so jump on down grapple grapple uh, you might see a boss health bar just flash up there uh, we'll do the mini boss a little bit later he's down there that's the shishiman warrior we'll uh, fight the shishiman warrior a little bit later don't need to do that right now so that's all good that pellet Some more slicing dicing in this area so feel free to pop a sugar i'm going to go for a defensive sugar here we've got quite a lot of those who so might as well just blast through them there we go and there's some more down here There we go, that takes care of those. A few more enemies around here. Uh, what we can do here is pop a green sugar. Makes our life a little bit easier, so pop that. And we'll go for a puppeteer. Let's check if that's on. It's not, it is now, so pop that on. Just work your way around the back there. Got the Dragon Spring Sake. Need to use the Tanto. So they should fight it out a little bit there. You could also use pop a uh, ungo sugar for a little bit more defense. Why would you fight in all these? Uh, so that just makes it a little bit easier if you do uh, puppeteer that enemy there it kind of just uh, spices things up a little bit and gets things uh, gets things moving there so that is that and then we're going to go and take on this uh, mini boss I suppose you would call this a mini boss pop a cheeky rest this one we use shurikens so have those ready jump on over first of all just get behind this little bit here that will always hit that up up here lock on wait for them to jump up into the air get the shuriken ready hit them with a the shuriken and there we go just give them the old uh, one too get a prayer bead for that so pick up that bad boy jump down here 
a bulging coin purse. Uh, so now that we've killed this enemy here, it um, lets us explore the water without getting destroyed by those electric attacks. So, uh, this water section is quite large. As you can see, there is a lot of stuff going off in here. So, let's jump in. There's various types of carp. You've got the carp that don't give us treasure scales, and you've got the carp that do give us treasure scales. But random items kind of knocking about here and there. Just feel free to grab all the stuff at the bottom of the water here. So these are the carps that don't give us the treasure scale. They just like to get in our way and make our life difficult. So feel free to give these the old one too. Uh, I'm sure there was another one somewhere. Oh, there we go. That's most likely going to try and bop us. There we go. Uh, so like I mentioned, there's quite a lot of items in this in this place. And these carps. So these ones disappear. If you don't get to them in time, you can miss them. Uh, don't worry too much if you do miss the treasure carp scale, because uh, we should have enough really anyway, so... Don't worry too much about that. Uh, but if you can get the extra carp scale, then, you know, definitely go for it. Giant carp over there. So we're just going to pick up a bunch of items. Carp scale, carp scale, carp scale. Might be one in here. No, we're all good. That's the one that we want to get. But that one's definitely going to get away because that's uh, they've got quite a distance there, so we can't get to them in time before they disappear. All good. One there as well. a noble quite close which we might get caught by so watch out for that noble okay there's quite a few things down there as well um, however there are some headless so what we can do is try and get the items from around the headless and then get out of there. I think what I'll do is I'll I won't kill the headless just yet. Uh, I'll save them for an episode of their own because there's quite a few headless in this game and I'll do all the headless in the same video. So we won't kill them just yet. So what we'll try and do is get down there and get all the items from around them and then escape. That's uh, sometimes easier said than done because the headless can be a bit of a pain. So what I would recommend is the purple gourd. We should be able to use the purple gourd under the water. It gives us resistance against the terror. And the terror is a thing that will basically just instantly kill us. So uh, terror equals bad. Okay, so let's uh, grab that. We've got precious bait just there. And item just here as well. Light coin purse. So we've still got the resistance to terror at the moment. What I'm going to do is pop one more. Head on down to where the headless are and give it our best shot. 
So there's actually two headless here, which makes things insanely difficult. We've got one there, one there. Treasure carp scale. Treasure carp scale. I'm going to try and open this chest without being destroyed, so that's the things we need to avoid. Luckily we had some resistance, which is always good. Then we can pick up the prayer bead, which is what we came there for. Once we've got that, we can uh, escape. There we go. So as long as you use that uh, purple gourd there, it should be fine. Gives you a decent amount of resistance against the uh, the terror there, so. Uh, other than that, we can push on forward. We need to look for the hole in the wall. It's down here, we've got the giant carp in here. So what we'll do is swim to the right straight away and get yourself behind these buildings to hide from the fish. This should be swimming in the opposite direction. Yes, it is. So once it's heading in that direction over there, you want to be going straight for that section there. Swim straight through. Swim on up. There are some items just below that giant fish, but for now, we'll leave them. Uh, we can get them a little bit later when the fish is not aggressive. Uh, or not, uh, not there. Uh, so we've got this idol here, so pop the idol and pop a cheeky rest. We've also got five prayer beads, so we should smash those. And now we've got uh, increased vitality and posture, which is always good. Got some cheeky nobles in here. Having a bit of a feast. So, uh, yeah, just give them the old one, too. Just nobles feasting in the dark. Uh, gourd seed in here, so this is really important. Definitely grab the old gourd seed. And open these doors. This is the direction that we need to be going in, but for now, we're just going to quickly backtrack a second. Open these doors. Uh, these particular doors will create a shortcut. So now you can see the shortcut is uh, this segment here, and that mini boss was just down there as well. So keep that in mind. Also, we can pop a cheeky rest at this point. And I think what we shall do here is wrap this episode up. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, remember to like, subscribe and drop a comment. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.